हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आली सर केमिस्ट्री क्लास फॉर ऑल आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम कम बैक विद माय न्यू वीडियोस द टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस सेशंस विल बी एसिड एंड बेसिस ऑल ऑफ यू हैव बीन स्टडीड आई नो एसिड एंड बेसिस इन सेपरेटली इन इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एज वेल एज इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री माई फोकस इज टू कम्बाइन दिस टू uh two topics in organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry is acid and bases in a one frame so if you start follow these classes uh i'll take uh, uh, eight or eight or ten classes to concept uh, to to uh, complete this uh, uh, vast topics which is most important topics of Uh, chemistry it will helpful in organic chemistry as well as in inorganic chemistry as well as in physical chemistry as well as in analytical chemistry whatever you go you have to know about the acid and bases concepts so there are so many reactions the many reactions are uh, included acid and bases uh, so that's why i am decided to discuss this uh, uh, acid and bases uh, with with uh, more details so try to follow uh, till the end uh, so i am going to start in my first class with some concepts of acid and bases uh, already written in my in my board the first concept of acid and bases will be arrhenius concept all of you know you have been studied from class 10 i know or class 11 to 12 or anything whenever you studied acid and bases uh, you have to first know the concept of organic uh, or inorganic anything whatever you say the concept of acid and bases with some generalization with some theories or with some concepts so first concepts will uh, i am discuss here arrhenius acid and bases so the concept was given by scientist arrhenius in 1884 so uh, almost uh, 100 and uh, Hundred and forty years uh, uh, before, I think hundred and forty years before. So at that time, Arrhenius said that an acid is a substance, and acid is a substance which can donate donate H plus. We can say hydrogen. ion in aqueous medium so one of the most important point of this concept is the solvent specific concept that is aqueous medium so you have to remember this an acid is a substance which can donate h plus ion in aqueous medium a base is a substance a base is a substance which can donate hydroxyl ion oh minus hydroxyl ion in aqueous medium so acid sir h plus ion donor and bases are hydroxyl ion donor in aqueous medium so this is only applicable in aqueous medium which is the major drawbacks you can say of arrhenius theory so we take some examples say for examples acl aqueous medium it will take it will form h plus cl minus or you can say h2so4 aqueous medium h plus plus h2so4 minus or you can say nitric acid aqueous medium h plus no3 minus so all of these acids whatever i have taken here uh, they are h plus ion donor so that's why they are called arrhenius arrhenius acids so 
So you can take uh, as an example some bases which are also hydroxyline donor in aqueous medium. For example, NOH, aqueous medium, Na plus, OH minus. Say for example, potassium hydroxide, aqueous medium, K plus, OH minus. So uh, we can take more examples also. So these are also called Arrhenius. Arrhenius basis. So one, I am repeatedly uh, uh, telling this uh, that Arrhenius concept is solvent specific and which is only applicable in aqueous medium. So remember it, it is applicable only in aqueous medium. So we cannot explain the acid base theory beyond this aqueous medium beyond the uh, beyond this uh, uh, aqueous medium means in gaseous phase or in other solvents or in non protic uh, compound or non hydroxylic compound so there are so many uh, drawbacks and advantages also so i will discuss some advantages and a resident drawback as well as the drawback of this theory so i am erasing now so the first concept uh, is full of confusions and uh, drawbacks. So first of all, I am giving some point. The advantages of Arrhenius theory. Advantages of Arrhenius theory. So there are few advantages also. Mm, uh, so what is the first advantage of Arrhenius theory? We can explain this uh, um, Arrhenius theory uh, for the acid-base neutralization reactions. So what is neutralization reactions? All of you know when an acid react with a base, it will form salt and water. From the beginning of your studies, whenever you have uh, you have known about acid and bases all of you know that this neutralization reactions when an acid acid and base react they will form salt and water so this is called the neutralization reactions so we can explain this neutralization reaction with the help of this Arrhenius theory but the one thing is remember here so the acids will be H plus ion donor and the base will be hydroxyline donor and the reaction medium will be in aqueous solvent so how can you explain this so according to the Arrhenius H plus donor in aqueous medium in acid and a hydroxyline donor are base in aqueous medium so this is called acid and this is called base so all of you know when H plus and OH minus react it will form water molecule so this is a neutral neutral molecules and this reaction is called neutralization neutralization reaction so the acid base neutralization reaction in aqueous medium uh, is nothing but the reaction between H plus and OH minus to form the water so this concept uh, this uh, acid base neutralization reactions uh, can explain with the help of Arrhenius theory and there is uh, another uh, advantage also so I am not going to details the details here uh, so first uh, um, advantage that I have given here the concept of acid base neutralization reaction you can uh, you can read it uh, from any other any any books or any reference books so that is that are not so important just one point I am uh, um, given here uh, another next one is which is important that is the disadvantage disadvantage of Arrhenius theory disadvantages of Arrhenius theory or Arrhenius concept whatever you say doesn't matter
the disadvantage, the first disadvantage of this theory, this is solvent specific. Which solvent? Not all solvent. Uh, solvent specific and uh, only which solvent? Only water. So this is the major drawbacks. Solvent specific, only water. So beyond water, we cannot explain uh, the acid base concept. Okay. And another uh, major point is, if all of you know, there are some acids or there are some bases which don't have H plus ion or hydroxyl ion, but they are acids and as well as base also. So, for this type of compound, we cannot explain the acid base behavior of the, uh, uh, of the compound by using Arrhenius theory. Say, for example, uh, uh, for example, you can say boron BF3, BCL3, etc. are acids, one type of specific acid which all of you know this is, these are always acid. So, they are all acids, but they don't have proton or H plus ion. So this type of acids cannot explain this. This the behavior of this acid. Acid cannot explain with the help of uh, Arrhenius theory. So this is also a major drawback. Another point also, there are some bases. There are some bases also which don't have hydroxyl ion, but they are acting as a base. So, for this type of compound, we cannot explain uh, the uh, basic behavior of this compound. So, this is also a major drawback of Arrhenius theory. For example, uh, if all of you know the amine RnH2, uh, um, amines or hydrazine NH2, NH2, or oxides, say for calcium oxide. Uh, potassium, uh, uh, calcium oxides, they are oxide ion donor, but they don't have, uh, you can say, another oxides also, I am writing commonly oxides, they are oxide ion donor, but not hydroxyl ion donor. So, these types of compounds, which don't have H plus ion, or don't have H minus ion, cannot explain by using Arrhenius theory. So, these are the, these are the two major drawbacks. One is this is solvent specific and it cannot explain the acid base behavior of compounds which have which don't have H plus ion or hydroxyl ion. I think it is clear for all of you. So we need to uh, modify the theory, uh, the Arrhenius theory. So after the Arrhenius in uh, 1884, the second concept of uh, this acid base theory was. A little bit modified theories, which is known as Lowry and Bonstead theory. So the second theory, whatever I am going to discuss here, the Lowry and Bonstead theory of acid and bases. So, Lowry and Bonstead modified this theory in, in, in some extent and uh, explained this theory uh, with, the, with, with, with the help of uh, Arrhenius theory and he, he modified this theory uh, by some, uh, by some uh, generalization and, and, discuss, uh, and gave an idea in 18, 1923 and he said that an acid is a substance, an acid is a substance which can donate H plus ions. A base is a substance, is a substance which can accept accept H plus so 
the theory is little bit more advanced compared to RNS theory. And first advantage is here, this, here no solvent is used, no solvent uh, is, is, is indicated here. So this is not solvent specific, this is the first important point of Lowry and Monson concept. And another point is, uh, here the theory is generalized with only proton H plus ion. The compound which is H plus ion donor or um, H plus uh, uh, ion donor, that means uh, proton donor are called acids and which are H plus ion acceptor are called base. So this theory is uh, somehow um, more advanced, more, uh, more, uh, more generalized from uh, compared to Arrhenius theory. Now I am going to take some examples. So uh, an acid is a substance which can donate H plus ion and a base is a substance which can accept H plus ion. So it is dependent only the donation and acceptance property of the compound uh, and we can explain by this concept which one which will be acid and which will be base. So we will take an important example say all of you know this when ammonia react with HCl what will form it will form ammonium chloride. So in ammonium chloride, I am writing, writing this uh, equation HCl in ionic form in H4 plus and Cl minus. So all of you know here which is H plus donor and which is H plus acceptor. So if you clearly see that here, if you add H plus ion into ammonia, it will form NH4 plus. So ammonia in this reaction, ammonia is with H plus ion acceptor. So H plus ion acceptor means ammonia will be act as a ammonia will act as a base. And if you see here. HCl to Cl minus HCl eliminate H plus ion to form Cl minus. So HCl is an acid because it is donating H plus ion. Okay. So one acid and one base react with form a uh, react and form a salt. This is a So, so we can say this is one type of neutralization reaction. Now, if we clear, if we close, if we close loop to this compound NH4 plus, that is also not not the ions positive ion. So this positive ion have a tendency to donate H plus ion also. So NH4 plus ion can donate H plus ion. So we can say that this NH4 plus ion can act as a acid because it is H plus ion donor. Okay. And here chloride ion, Cl minus ion can accept H plus ion to form HCl. So Cl minus ion being an acceptor of H plus ion can act as a base. So whatever we have seen here, I am just summarize this. So, base, we can say this is base 1, ammonia is base 1, HCl is acid 1, and it will form, this is acid, acid, this is base. So, base 1, base 1 is ammonia. So from ammonia we have we have get uh, NH4 plus NH4 plus ion so which is acid so we can say this is acid one and here the Cl minus ion is formed from HCl so we can say this acid two and this is base two which is Cl minus ion so here an acid and a base 
is react to form another acetone bases. So very interesting. So when an acetone base react with olefino, it will form a salt. But here I am saying that, not I am saying according to the Laurian Bonstead, uh, an acid and base react to form another acid and bases. Okay. So this is little bit uh, uh, ambiguous. So not ambiguous. This is uh, a conceptual theory. So whatever I have seen, uh, we are dating separately here. So ammonia plus HCl react with form react to form NH4 plus Cl minus. So this is a base. This is an acid, this is an acid, this is a base. So what have I seen? Base and acid react with to form acid and bases. So this is a little bit interesting. Uh, so all of you know mm, when acid and base react, it will form salt. So now I am saying here now when acid and bases react with each other they can also form acid and bases because ammonia is a base according to the Laurier Monset concept it will H plus an acceptor so it is base HCl is an acid according to the Laurier Monset concept it will H plus ion donor so this is acid and ammonium ion and H plus ion is an acid because it is H plus ion donor and Cl minus ion is a base because it is H plus ion acceptor. So one interesting point coming from this concept is conjugate acid base pair which is one of the most important point of this concept and it will be very helpful for you to explain the uh, relative acid base strength of organic as well as inorganic acid and bases. So the major the most important concept uh, the, sorry the, the most important point of this concept is conjugate acid base pair so what is conjugate acid base pair so you see you see this simple reactions conjugate acid base pair and uh, i'm i'm i uh, we have take we have uh, seen here that if you say this is base one and from base one we get an acid one and you you, you write here acid two and base two so you see here a pair, pair means all of you know conjugate acid base pair. So if you say pair means two pair. So if you if if you say in reactant this is called reactant, this is called product. If you if you say this, so here is two bases, one base one and base two. Base one plus base two, and similarly acid one plus acid 2. So we are getting both acid and base as a pair. So from this concept and uh, the most important point you have to know here is conjugate acid base pair. So what is conjugate acid base pair? I am discussing easily. So, you, uh, what, uh, so that you can remember uh, easily. So, conjugate acid base pair. Conjugate acid base pair. So, what is conjugate acid and what is conjugate base? You have to know. So, I am first I am writing conjugate base, and after discussing this, I uh, right conjugate acids. So what is conjugate acids or what is conjugate base? Base. Base means it will be a according to the Laurier Monset concept. Base means it will be H plus ion acceptor. So I am writing here for example you see H SO4 minus so if you if you add H plus ion to HSO4 minus it will form sulfuric acid H2SO4. This is known all of you know this. This is an acid. 
but if you see here H SO4 minus is accepting a H plus ion to form H2SO4. So H2SO4 minus is a base. Listen carefully. Whatever I written here, H SO4 minus add with H plus ion to form H2SO4. So according to the Laurier Monset concept, HSO4 minus is an H plus ion acceptor. So HSO4 minus is a base and it will add with HSO4 H plus ion to form an acid. HSO4 is an acid. So if this HSO4 minus also coming from H2SO4 after removing or release a proton H plus ion. So if HSO4 is release one proton it will form HSO4 minus so HSO4 minus is a base which is coming from acids listen carefully HSO4 minus is a base which is coming from H2SO4 so we can say this HSO4 minus is a conjugate base of H2SO4 so conjugate base is coming from an acidic and acidic compound according to the Lowry and Monset concept. So conjugate base is coming from acid and conjugate acid coming from base. And uh, I'll discuss later. I'll discuss later. So first, uh, whatever I have, I have, uh, I have um, discussed here, so acids to base, that means whenever an acid releases a proton, it will form an anion, which has also tendency to accept H plus ion to form the original acids. So this is the one type of cyclic process. So when it releases H plus ion, it will form a base. So this H super minus is called the conjugate base of acid H2SO4. So, how can you write the structure of H2SO4 uh, uh, the structure of uh, a conjugate base of any acids? This is a very simple method, very simple and easy. So, write acids and remove one proton. Uh, say the examples of acid is, uh, for example, I am taking an acid Hx. For example, so this is an acid, I remove H plus ion, it will form X minus. So this is called conjugate base of the corresponding acid Hx. So, I will write the con as a structure of acid base. Just you remove acidic proton from that compound and whatever you will get after the removing of acidic proton that will be the conjugate base of the corresponding acids just remove one acidic proton i am saying acidic proton not uh, other protons okay if there are so many uh, there are so examples there are so many examples where mm, mm, different types of protons are available so you have to remove acidic proton not all protons Okay, so I am giving some examples and it will be clear uh, for all of you. I am taking some inorganic acids, inorganic acids, acids and conjugate base. So, First, I am taking a simple example, hydrochloric acid, just remove one H plus ion, so what you will get, conjugate base will be Cl minus ion. Nitric acid, I am taking monoacidic acid, a monobasic acid, monobasic means which have only one acidic proton, monobasic acid means which have only one acidic proton, for example, HCl, nitric acid. So, the conjugate base of nitric acid will be just remove one H plus ion, which will be NO3 minus. Say, for example, uh, HF, 
the conjugate base will be f minus one. These all are mono basic acids. Mono basic acids means which have only one acidic proton. Only one acidic proton, they are mono basic acid. So if you take mono basic acids uh, and remove one H plus ion, we will get the corresponding conjugate base of the acids. Now I am taking some examples of dibasic acid. So for dibasic acid, there is some uh, interesting point, say for example H2SO4. All of you know this is dibasic acid because H2SO4 have two acidic protons. So dibasic acid means two acidic protons present, so it will not release two proton in single state, mind that. It will release one by one proton, so it will release one proton first, minus H plus ion, minus H plus, so it will form HSO4 minus, so this is acid and HSO4 minus will be base and which is called conjugate base of H2SO4. Now you see, uh, in H2SO4 there are two acidic protons, but in HSO4 still one acidic proton is present. So this HSO4 minus ion also release another H plus ion, H plus ion to form SO4 2 minus. So this is also act as a base. We can say this is conjugate base. But this is not the conjugate which is the important I am saying. This is not the conjugate base of H2SO4. This is the conjugate base of which one? From where it will be generated? From HSO4 minus. So SO4 minus 2 minus is the conjugate base of HSO4. So this is an acidic salt HSO and because 1 H plus ion is present. So after releasing 1 H plus it will form SO4 2 minus. So SO4 2 minus is the conjugate base of HSO4 minus and HSO4 minus is the conjugate base of H2SO4. I think it is clear for all of you. Now I am taking some examples of bases. So conjugate acid base pair is the very important point uh, from the Lowry Bonset theory. So first I have discussed here conjugate acids. The conjugate acids are those, uh, uh, sorry conjugate bases. I have discussed this first conjugate bases. Conjugate bases coming from con acids. So when one acid release one proton, the resultant anions is called conjugate base of the corresponding acid. So I am generalize this uh, concept acid minus H plus uh, acid minus 1 this will be conjugate this. This is the generalized form. An acid which will release H minus ion it will form acids minus 1 I'm just writing in generalization. So this is called the conjugate base. Okay. Now discuss about the conjugate acid. Conjugate acid. So conjugate acid means the compound will act as an acid. So it will be H plus ion donor. So H plus ion donors means that will, the compound will be act as an acid after the accepting proton. So conjugate acid coming from base, basic compound. Say for example, ammonia is a base. It will uh, react with H. Uh, it will accept an H plus ion to form NH4 plus. Now this NH4 plus ion will release a proton, will release a proton to form ammonia. So this is a base and this is an acid. So this acid is coming from the base ammonia. So NH4 plus is called 
the conjugate acid of ammonia. So, any soot class is conjugate acids of ammonia. So, just this is an uh, subtraction and addition type problem. So, just uh, you add H plus ion, you will get conjugate base, uh, sorry, conjugate acid, and if you remove H plus ion, you will get conjugate base. So, very simple. Uh, I am taking one more example. Say, for as all of you know, the amines are basic compound RNH2. So, if it will add with an H plus ion, it will form R NH3 plus. So, R NH3 plus means it will again release 1 H plus ion to form R NH2. So, this is the basic compound base and this is acid according to the Lowry and Bonset concept because it will donate H plus ion into the acid H plus ion. So, this acid is generated from RNH2. So, RNH3 plus is called conjugate acid of base RNH2. And we can also say that the RNH2 is a conjugate acid, sorry, conjugate base of R NH3 plus. Okay. I think this is clear for all of you. So, this is just nothing but the addition of H plus and elimination of H minus. So, I am summarize this in a one frame. What is what is conjugate acid and base clear? Just in one frame. Say for examples, I am taking a compound M. This is a compound, one compound, just you add H plus ion, you will get another compound, say for MH plus. So, MH plus is called conjugate acids of M, because after releasing H plus ion, again we will get in the original compound. So, this is H plus ion donor, so that is why this is called an acid according to the Lowry and Bonstead concept and this is coming from M. So, the MH plus is conjugate acid of M and similarly, if you eliminate a H plus ion, the uh, say it will form a compound, say for example, um, uh, M I am taking just uh, the, it is a, it's a hypothetical example M minus something uh, not M minus. Now I am taking uh, say uh, B uh, minus. So this B minus compound minus means it will act as a base negative anion. It will act as a base. So it will accept one proton to form M because after elimination of H plus, it will form B minus and after accepting it will form M. So, this is this base is coming from the compound M. So, this is called conjugate base of M. So, if you understand this problem, uh, sorry, understand the scheme, symmetric diagram. So, this is very simple for you to determine the conjugate acid base pair of any compound. So, just add H plus, you will get conjugate acid and eliminate H minus, you will get conjugate base. So, I think it is clear for all of you. So, this is uh, enough for today's class. Just you write and uh, just you see my video carefully. I think it will be clear for all of you. I am I'm, I'm always trying to uh, understand, I am trying to uh, focus on my lectures uh, as simple as I can express my concept so there may be some problem also so you can comment you can uh, you can you can share this video you just if you like you uh, uh, comment share and press the bell icon and subscribe my channel 
and definitely I will explain in uh, this acid base, uh, total acid base chapters in uh, separate separate videos and after completing this chapter I am going to the another part of uh, organic chemistry as well as physical chemistry. So now you will get a series of uh, acid base uh, reactions or acid base uh, theory in upcoming videos. So till then take care all of you and subscribe my channel and share it. Thank you everyone.